Hi, this is Andrew with VMP Performance. Today I'm going to show you how to data log your vehicle with an SET device. The first step is to go ahead and open up LiveLink on your Windows computer. Next, plug in your SET device via USB to your Windows computer. Now you'll want to click I want to data log device. It's going to walk you through the steps here. You're going to want to connect the OBD2 port to your vehicle. Now plug in your SET device. You can now click next. It's going to advise you to start the engine on the vehicle. <laughs> You can click next and now you can check for communication between the SET device and the computer. As you can see we had a successful connection and we're going to click validate all items. This is going to allow us to select the PIDs we would like to data log. So from here we will go ahead and speed up this process but we have a list available on vmpperformance.com of which PIDs to go ahead and select. This will allow us to see what is going on with the vehicle with various different parameters. We now want to click configure data log and we can actually save this configuration file so we don't have to select those PIDs again, uh, which can take some time. So you will want to name this uh, in a fashion that you'll be able to recognize it later. We went ahead and named this one GT350 config file. If you ever want to open that config file, we can go back to the main menu, select use previously validated items, click next. And we can now select load config and you can look for that file that you just created and it'll pull up all the PIDs that you just selected. We are now ready to go ahead and record some data logs. Simply click the record button at the top left. The first data log we're going to record is some idle time. This requires letting the car idle for about a minute and this will allow the tuner to see what the car is doing. The next step is going to be to do a slow rev. You will want to rev the car to a specified RPM by your tuner and you will want to do this slowly so that the tuner can see what the car is doing throughout the RPM range without a load. Once you have completed the slow rev, you can go ahead and stop the data log file and now you're going to want to go ahead and save it. You can do this by clicking save all. And this will allow you to save a CSV file of everything the car recorded. It is important to name your file correctly. This will help the tuner know which log file is whose. In this case, we have Andrew, the GT350. You want to specify what the data log is, in this case, an idle slow rev. You will want to add the date to know when this was do not mix this up with future logs. 
You'll want to specify if there's any concern, or if there's no concern, just type no concern. And lastly, add the serial number of your SCT device. This makes it easy for the tuner to be able to run a new tune file for your device without any issues. You can now save your data log file, so you can go back to it later, and send to your tuner via email. The next step is to record a wide open throttle pull in a safe place. This will be either second or third gear depending on the vehicle. You will want to pick an open road and a gear in which your car will not spin. Sometimes it's better to turn traction control off. Now you can simply start your log and begin your pull. 1500 RPMs and Once you have completed your wide open throttle pull, once it is safe, you can stop the log. Now you'll want to save the log in a similar fashion to the idle slow rev, but you'll want to name this properly for what exactly happened. Now that you have sent your logs, please patiently wait for your tuner to get back to you and enjoy your vehicle. If you have any other questions, be sure to visit bmpperformance.com. If you have any other questions, be sure to visit bmpperformance.com. There are several other videos uh, showing you how to do other things with your SCT device. We also have a trained support staff on hand to go ahead and help you with any questions that you have.